Hey, what's up guys, MudderHD here, and welcome to episode 41 of my Journey to the Top series. And if you missed the previous episode, there'll be a link in the description to the series playlist. We can find every single episode that I've done so far, but I am very sorry there was no upload yesterday. Um, I was actually playing football and I finished at 4 o'clock and then the Liverpool game was on and I could not miss that game against Chelsea. It was a pretty good game. But I am here now, and um, as I said in one of my previous episodes, um, I think it was the previous one, that I am going to be trying to um, upload in HD, and I'm hoping you guys will be able to get that function now. Uh, it'll be, fingers crossed it will be working. But anyway, more into this episode now. Schulfer is going to be leaving the club. I left it on a cliffhanger. Six, um, no, 3.6 million is a lot of money for York City. And I said yes. There was a couple of candidates to bring in. We got 3.1 million uh, from the board in the end. Uh, we had uh, Jankowski and uh, some kid from Leicester called uh, Knocker Hurt. But um, you'll have to wait and see who I go for after that. As I do put up another striker up for, say, Jamie Patterson. He has not impressed me since we bought him from Walsall and he just really hasn't got the I don't know whether I haven't given enough chances in the side or I just he's just underperforming for who he is but there is an offer for Oji Banjo who does want to leave the club at Charlton Athletic I want 200 grand they want to play a little bit less but I go and ask for 200 grand and I'm going to go and sort the wage, wage out because there is a player that I'm going for and I'm hoping this deal can go through and this new player has really screwed me over. We get 160 grand. And this is the guy. He is a Barcelona right now. He's an ex-Liverpool player. He's called Samed Yassil. He is German. And damn, is this guy good. 81 finishing. But there is a big but on this. He would cost me 3.5 million, which Barcelona accepted. Cool, cool. We got him under his value. Okay, right. 10 grand in wage. Okay, that, that's okay. We, we can deal with that. We have that sort of money left over. No, he doesn't want to leave Barcelona. This is on deadline day. And I am trying to push and get this deal. And I was hoping maybe he just wants a bit of extra money coming away from a, um, from a S Spain. Of course, it's hotter there. It's, it's just a lot better there than it could be in the BPL. Um, in League One, in fact. Um, but I, I had high expectations to be signing Yesil. And it just didn't come off as well as I wanted to. I ended up offering 15 grand a week. And he still declined the offer. And this left me in a tricky situation. I was so silly. I made the biggest mistake I have on this York City career mode. And I fixated that I wanted this player only when I could have gone for another player. And being on the transfer deadline day... It left me with no time to get a different player, a different striker to replace Shovo, who has left the club now. He's away with Brighton, and it is a big loss to us. But this is a bigger, bigger problem that we have now because now we don't have that sort of striker that can. That's I was hoping yes, it was going to be that striker that could finish, just like Shovo could. He had a very good finishing ability. But it just isn't going to happen and I had to pull on Yasil and I only had one hour left when I went in for that guy, uh, Miapa or something like that. And I ended up getting no strikers on deadline day so I'm very sorry, big muck up by me but we have to deal with what we got. I actually got an offer from CSK Moscow of all clubs. They wanted me as their manager. I felt privileged to be offered but York City, I stay faithful to York City. Even though I have just totally mucked up um, with the striker situation there. And I did actually go to the board and ask them for extra money. But they did not. They just did not give me any more money. Seeing as they've been fleecing me from all the transfers. They decided, no, we're not, we're not, we're not going to give you any money that we actually promised you at the start of the transfer window. We're actually going to give you nothing. Now, nothing at all. You're going to get nothing for any players, they are absolutely annoying as hell. That first, they give me the most ridiculous promotion uh, target, and now they don't give me hardly enough money to get promotion. Seeing as I've only just got promotion, I know I have great players right now, 
But at the minute we are trying to get promotion and it's just not going to be that easy with the strikers that we have right now. Okay, we have a Bini Ayas, he's a great striker. And we signed Berger in this transfer window as well. But I need another player and I really, really am looking at it now that I'm regretting selling Schalfe because Abini Ayesi and Schalfe playing together were absolutely awesome. And I, I don't know why what came over me to go and sell him. Maybe that money did so that I, I could feel the, the money in my hands and I could just smell it. I could whiff it from anywhere. It just... I just felt that Schalfer had to go so we could get more money into the club and sign better players. And yet again, I say I have um, uh, I have great players here at York City, and I'm pretty happy with who I have. But it's just that I wanted another striker in just to make sure that we didn't lack goals from places. If you know what I'm saying. But we didn't seem to lack here against Rochdale. I didn't really commentate over that. But we have made it back into the final of the JPT. The John Johnston Paint Trophy. Yeah, the best trophy in the English leagues, of course. And we're going to be facing Shrewsbury, who have the pace, of course. Um, and I've got to say, I'm looking forward to that game. I'm probably going to be live commenting it. Fingers crossed. But... We have a game here against Shrewsbury, funny enough, as well. Um, so we're through to the JPT finals where we win 3-1 on aggregate. A Bini IS is showing his form yet again. But here, Shrewsbury have a penalty and Jack Butlam pulls off an awesome save to deny them the goal earlier on in the game. And it was, a it was an even game. We had chances, they had chances. But they probably had the better chance. So you see here, we pretty much cleared that off the line. And it just came down to the fact that we really, really sucked in the defence. I don't know what's going on with the defence right now. And you'll see um, soon that it just came down. Um, in fact, you'll see in the next game what happens. We just don't close down players good enough. And they really are passing this ball around pretty good. Actually, remember, this is it's actually this game... Hang Si Ho got sent off. And I thought this was pretty harsh. But this is a blow to the team. For one game now we're going to be without Hang Si Ho. Which means we're going to have to play Million of. And um, that's a big problem because he isn't the best. But I'm just going to have to deal it with it for this game here. Against Old Ham. The last game of this episode by the way guys. And I've got to make sure that I get the three points in this game. And we came close there. What a great first time shot there. Finesse shots aren't dead, by the way, guys. But then Butler makes a great save. That's why he was worth his money all that time that we spent trying to sign him. It seems to have paid off, but I'd go for the sweaty goal there. The keeper does pretty well to dive out. I am not hesitating to go for sweaty goals. Uh, maybe I should, uh, Binny IC should have took that on himself. But Abini Ayesi takes a nice strike there. The keeper pulls off another great save. It seems like they're the two keepers are making good save. But then a million off of all players comes out of the sky. And he heads that ball into the back of the net. 1-0 up now against Old Ham. But there's a big but as well. They hit the post and it goes in the back of the net. That's what I mean. They've got too much space. And the defenders are not getting close to them. They're not getting on top of them. And you see here, ah, twice in a row they've hit the post and it's gone in the goal. It took a bit of force from Mayini there, but it's gone into the back of there. And now we're trailing 2-1 against Old Ham after leading 1-0 through that million of header. Excuse me, a bit of a burp touch there. Um, but anyway, that game ended in 2-1 to old ham but then the suspension is older over and I'm hoping we can get back to form because we have score we have been scoring less goals as it has come through that transfer window maybe I've been focusing too much on the transfer window but youth you guys were calling for youth and that's what you're going to get a look at these youth players not very good at all from my best scout um, not at all any good. Only the first player was good. A potential of 65 to 91. I left him in there. I didn't actually sign him up because of his overall right now. He's 15. Not looking good for him slightly. But there was a German as well. He was a load of tr tr trash as well. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well as my other content. Please go check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.